Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and today we are going to do a little bit of altering of postcards. Uh, now I had been working on this um, project for a while now. So this is a file folder which I have made into a you know, file folder folio sort of thing. And uh, it is nearly complete. I just need to put in a few more things and then I'm done for this. So, uh, but I need to make a little bit of ephemera for this. So I've used my uh, postal themed, um, travel themed uh, collage sheets as well as ephemera for this. As well as some of the pages that I have added here are from my Patreon um, uh, exclusive um benefit papers that i give out every month so i have used a lot of stuff which are basically very cohesive so i try to create a collection of sorts every month which uh, sort of goes with uh, my patreon so if you're a member of my patreon you get those papers and then you can buy a, you know something very cohesive uh in the shop also so the so that you have a lot of uh, stuff to play with and <laughs> make uh, new things. So this opens up like this and there are tons of, um, you know, pages, uh, not pages, pockets and tuck spots. So this closes up and then this closes up and then it closes up entirely. So and the cover image is uh, I have not yet um, listed that in my shop. Uh, I was working on a, some items so this this was just um, my way of playing around so th if you have noticed my um, flip through of the ephemera pack and the papers i will post that link uh, to the flip through in the description box so it comes with blank postcards like this the uh, ephemera kit and i'm planning on embellishing this a little bit more i don't want this these blank looking cards and um, uh, I will be using stuff from the postal ephemera pack. So the first thing I need to do is um, I will trim off these postcards and um, get going. So I hope you people are doing well and thank you for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please think of subscribing. And if you have already subscribed and watching this, thank you so much for being there because I know sometimes I just don't uh, post videos. But that's how, you know, when you have a full time job uh, and then you uh, try to make journals, create digitals. But of course, this is no excuse. Uh, you have to do what you have to do. Um, uh, this is how my life rolls. That's it and um, i hope you people are doing well um i am okay right now and there will be uh, new listings in my shop also digitals as well as physical because i'll finish this journal and then um probably i'm going to list this by the end of this week um so i'm also working on my ephemeris vintage gardens uh, design team project so I'm just uh, trimming the whites and um, I had printed some of the papers on a uh, laser printer. Uh, so these are printed on laser printer but um, you don't have to print them on laser printer. You can just print them on inkjet printer and they come out uh, clear as well. It's just that they don't have this um, you know, silky shiny kind of texture. That's the only difference. And uh, personally, uh, I like both of them, um, you know, and sometimes I switch um, between the two types. But that's it. So you can do it with your um, inkjet printer also. And so we have our postcards all cut down. And this is another postcard that already has some ink splatters and um you know that seal i will be using this also and i'll show you how you can use scraps to embellish postcards like this uh, 
now you can add floral elements also i have not added any floral elements in this um, general uh, journaling ephemera uh, that was a conscious if, uh, you know effort because uh, most of my kids or most of the stuff that i work with have a uh, floral accents so i decided to move away from the floral accents and try to do something different uh here i have a page of stamps and then um more stamps so if i want i can trim these down and you know use them so i will be using that tiny stamp these are all part of the postal themed ephemera kit and you really get a ton of um things to choose from so um you can use all these stamps so i will probably be using them so i'm moving these away and also i am just going through so uh i might use those smaller uh stamps that are there or these long strips you know uh these small strips of uh paper where the postage um you know the stamp is so i'm just choosing stuff that i might use in altering those uh postcards uh so i might use these smaller um things or you can use also these blank postcards to alter stuff uh here what i have is um these stuff and i will you know i'll show you how i'm going to use up the scraps that i have generated from this project uh you know scraps from the edges of the papers uh that i can probably use so let's get started so i am bringing out these paper pages so these are the extra pages that i have not yet used uh some are from the like the top one is from the patreon um collage sheets and some i think are from the postal um you know themed one so <clears throat> my first objective is going to be to use up these scraps uh because there's no point in wasting them and uh, i will use them up as much as possible so i'm not going to dig into the whole sheets more i will um, you know uh, my objective is going to be using up the scraps that i have so i'm going to show you how i will add accents to these kind of um postcards so what i'll do is i'll just trim the edges a little bit with my hand just tear them apart basically and then i will ink it up um inking is not absolutely mandatory but um uh, some projects require uh, inking as accents so i will make a little bit a uh, oval shaped one because i would want that to be like that so i and uh, trust me i'm going to just use a sliver of this paper i'm not going to use the entire paper also because it already has some accents so so i will be tearing this up and layer this with this piece of scrap that i had so basically i have used much of the scraps that i you know i created while i was making this journal but um i'm going to lay them up this way 
and then I'm going to start gluing. So since it already has a stamp and stamp, you know, postal marks and stuff like that, a little bit of ink splatter, I might not use too much on this postcards. But I still wanted to show that you can add your own style. You can use up your scraps even when you have an embellished or partly embellished um, project. Um, so this one is partly embellished you can say but still you can you have the scope of adding um, a little bit of your touch into the ephemera piece. So I'm going to glue this and then I'm going to trim the extra that I have. So I'm going to trim off the extra bit and this is how it's going to look. So I'm going to glue this up. I'm going to glue this up and trim off the extra bit. So now um, it's looking a little bit interesting and I I will probably add a tab just to bring out that um, you know paper accent so I just don't want to make it so big um, I'm going to just slice it up and I find the middle and then I'm going to make a V sort of notch yeah so I'm going to make that V notch and I'll add that as a tab to the these ephemera. So this is going to be like a tab and again I'm just inking up the edges not much very lightly but it does need a little bit of inking that's true so i'm going to put glue on both the sides but um i'm going not i'm just for the sake of the video i'm just going to show you how it's going to look but what i'll do is i'll take off the part that i have stuck to the back because i will back these ephemera pieces with tea stained paper but this is going to be like the final look okay so i'm just going to take this off and not stick it because i'm going to put some tea stained paper so after i finish um, putting down that paper i am going to glue this you know tab on the back side so that it looks finished and complete so this is how it's looking so this is basically done now we're going to move on to the next uh, postcard so keep watching So I'm just trying to dig out more scraps, uh, not big uh, pieces, uh, so that it really justifies my, um, you know, using um, this part. So I had cut out some circles from this uh, paper, but I can't take this off. It seems it's pretty nicely glued to the thicker cardstock paper, so I, I'll probably skip that page you know use it somewhere else make more tabs out of it so i have this so these are the little bits that i have left basically not much but you'll see how things will go so i'm going to use this 
because I want to bring in a little bit of red into this otherwise, you know, sort of very blankish and um, color scheme on the postcard. Of course, it's a postcard, but uh, I would like to add that red accent um, onto the postage stamp space. So I'm just fussy cutting this out. So uh, again, I'm just inking, as you can see, and I will be using um, a little bit of accents here and there. And I will uh, show you how you can, at the end of this video, you will basically have an idea how, um, you know, how easy it is to add accents to your uh, projects if they are you know they're very plain and uh, the thing is that that the postal ephemera kit had been devised in such a way that um, you can you can use up you know all the ephemera bits and pieces to make your own diy kind of um, uh, unique ephemera pieces so it's created in such a way so that you are able to um, create unique pieces for your journals that you, you know, probably you journal or you sell or whatever. So, uh, and the pages are also like I, 10 pages of um, ephemera is pretty good amount, I think, with lots of stamps and postcards that you can use in your ephemera. And here I'm looking for more stuff basically, but I think I'm going to go with whatever little stuff I have dug up, <laughs> use them up at least. So again, I'm inking. So here I'll be using these smaller strips of um, ephemera pieces. They are actually meant to be used in layering. And that is exactly what I'm doing over here. I'll just fussy cut this out. These are like little strips of um, tape sort of thing where these postage marks have been added. Um, and I'm just again turning my uh, scissors here and there just to give it a raggedy kind of edge. And... I'll add that at the bottom. So I will be adding this on top of the bottom layer sort of thing and i don't think i will be adding anything else because i don't want to overdo stuff but maybe a little bit of a tab here not sure but that will go later on once i have added the tea stained paper so again we have completed two and we, i'm working on the third one um and my goal is to make at least five uh, because i'm I need to put them in the pockets of the journal that is attached to that file folder. Uh, the system is very same to the one I had worked previously. This is another sheet that I have 
full of different kinds of stamps that I can use. So I'll probably go with the smaller stamps. There are different sizes to this that I've added. And that is for the convenience of the people that, um, you know, they will be using. So there are smaller stamps like this bird one, which I intend on using. And that fits perfectly on that postcard. You'll see how I, I'll add that. So I will be adding that on that space, okay, and you can see how pretty it's looking. I'm just taking off the extra glue and um, it just mean, meant to be there as if, you know, and the stamp size are of different, um, there are different sizes of stamps uh, on in the kit. So if you are planning on using something like this, you can definitely go for it because uh, there's all kinds of sizes, big, small, medium, so that you can fit them as you like. So I'm going to use this scrap uh, at the bottom just to bring out a little bit of blue in the you know background because that bird already has some blue elements, a blue background to that. So I'm just taking that edge off. This was from a page uh, that I had given to my Patreons. Um, this was a set of uh, six pages, collage sheets, um, so that they have ample pages to play with. And... Yeah. So what I try to do is whenever I'm giving out a Patreon these days, I have changed the policy a little bit. I try to make it cohesive with the latest digital that I have listed in my shop. So if any of my Patreon is interested in buying the kit that is available in my shop, they will have a ton of papers. Um, like probably if I give four sheets to collage sheets to my Patreon, um, and uh, something very similar is listed in my shop and they buy it, they will have not only the sheets that they have bought but also uh, something extra that uh, they can add so, um, uh, to their um, you know, stuff. So um, that was some notification coming. I'm extremely sorry about that. So I will probably be adding this stamp also. Uh, just so that, you know, you don't have to see all of them as same. Uh, there will be different uh, things like I want to put two stamps. Um, one below the other. And then uh, maybe decorate a little bit more. Again, I'm adding that strip of paper which has that stamped 
you know postal mark and i think it's looking nice so we have three completed now i just have um, i can if i want i can finish uh, two that are left so this this also has a stamp space i just need to figure out which stamp will go here but this is a little bit bigger so i might put it on this side so i'm not sure let's see what happens now i uh, i plan on using that because not all of the ones i want are uh, have to have a plethora of colors of sorts because i want this to be a little bit toned down and i'm taking off the extra bit that was peeking through so it doesn't really matter so much once you put things down um and i can use this part but i want to use it um this green sort of color and again i'm using vintage photo this is distress ink not the distress oxide and because it doesn't matter i'm not going to be um, putting water or anything over here just to make it more reactive so distress ink will do and yeah so that's that so here you can see i've used up all those tiny um, label like postage marks that i had in the kit so all three of them have been used up and now i'm looking for my next um, you know stamp but this is a very useful page and you can use these stamps to um, create a lot of other projects also i will show another thing later on probably um so this is another sheet where you have four more blank postcards that you can alter with scraps and um ephemera pieces that already come in the kit so um again there are lots of stamps that you can use so i'm fussy cutting this round one because i want to use this um let's see so um, i have all the links uh, of my social media in the description box uh, so if you are interested in supporting me through buy me a coffee um, it will be highly appreciated um, if you want you can support me through patreon these will just only help me to you know proceed a little bit further in my journey um and if you want to um join my facebook group um i will post all the links below of my facebook as well as my instagram handle 
um another thing that i wanted to say is that um if you have not yet subscribed then kindly think of subscribing it will mean a lot to me so this is complete and we're going to move on to our last postcard that will only take a few minutes as you will see because uh, these projects are really fun and you have all the supplies that you need and the paper scraps can be anything you know you don't have to have um certain paper scrap so i need to make this and then we're going to be good for the thing that i had planned so i'm just going to move these away okay so let's start working on this so this one already comes with a stamp so i'm not going to uh mess with that and probably add some papers um but i can add this you know this looks nice um this is pretty big so what i'll do is i'll trim this So I'm going to be using this and probably then I'm going to go build the, you know, layering from there. So I just ink this up. This was a part of the paper. But then when I cut everything down to form pages and, you know, basis for the ephemera, this was left behind and I thought of using that. But it's not going to fit in entirely. I just want to trim off the extra so that, you know, it looks very natural, overhanging sort of thing. You'll see what I mean. That's that. So that's that. And I need to add something more. 